Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabree Church of Christ midweek lesson for August 24, 2022. I want to talk today about the power of the cross. Oh, Jesus died so that you and I can truly live now and forever. If you have your Bibles, open it to Romans chapter 1, verses 16 through 17, and follow with me as I read. It's Romans chapter 1, verses 16 through 17. Scripture I'm sure that you're very familiar with. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, but the righteous man shall live by faith. Now, the scene of the, of the cross is a paradox. It demonstrates the power of God in what appears to be the weakest moment in his son's life with hands and feet nailed to a rough, old, dirty piece of wood. Jesus looked totally helpless, and he remained there while the crowd, you know, they jeered him, they made fun of him. If you're the son of, the son of God, come down from the cross. And those passing by, Matthew 27, verses 39 through 40, and those passing by were hurling abuse at him, wagging their heads and saying, you who are going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of God, come down from the cross. Strength is not always revealed in dramatic display. At times, it's demonstrated in determined endurance. Jesus could have freed himself with one spoken word, but love kept him there on that cross. Love for you and for me. With mankind's eternal destiny at stake, Christ hung on until our salvation was obtained. What's more, the power of the cross didn't end when Jesus died. His death opened the door for salvation to all people. Whoever trusts in and confesses his name and is baptized for the remission of sins, then strives to follow his command and continues to place their faith in him, has a place in heaven. And the power of the cross remains after salvation, transforming, transforming believers' lives. Jesus sets us free and empowers us to live virtuously in his righteousness. Have you let the cross do its work in your life? Good question, one that we need to seriously think about. Have you let the cross do its work in your life? The Lord will not force it on you. Instead, he offers righteousness freely to all who believe in him and follow his commands and walk in his ways. Just something to think about for the rest of this week and from time to time. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on that cruel cross, took the jeering and the abuse from the crowd, but he endured the pain and stayed there because he loved us and wanted to make salvation available to all. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you think about these things the rest of this week because they're so very important. You know, it's appointed, and according to Hebrews, it's appointed a man once to die, and then after that, the judgment. Please don't stand at the judgment. 
without having confessed his name and been buried in baptism and you've striven your whole life to live following his word. Again, thank you for tuning in so much. We appreciate your listening and hope and pray that you're sharing these messages with your friends and loved ones and helping us to spread the gospel. And if you possibly can, we would love to have you come and, and attend worship services with us and our Bible study. Our Bible study begins at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday morning, and we have our worship service at 10.30 a.m. If you can, please come and visit with us. We'd be more than glad to have you there. You'd be our honored guest. And if there's anything that you think that the Seabury Church of Christ can do for you, if we possibly can, we would like to do that. You can reach us at 270-823-2335. And again, we thank you so much for tuning in and hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.